talk, shop, pop, movies. Ahoy there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a Convicted Cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I'd like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is, movies and physical media. And it's really cold outside, hence the gloves and hat. Uh, but anywho, I got sort of burnt yesterday on going to the Barnes and Noble, hoping to look at some more Arrow titles. Sorry, I, uh, cock teased you to put it frankly about that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I was disappointed as well, but at least I got something cool out of it. But today I am at my normal Barnes and Noble, one of two. The other one was my first video I did a few days ago. This is the one closest to my house. And they always have a pretty solid selection of Criterions. And they always have at least some Arrow videos. Hopefully more now than usual. But let's go see what they have today. Hopefully not nothing. All right, let's see what this Barnes & Noble has to offer. See music and DVDs downstairs. This is why I like this store. And as soon as I get off the escalator, there's a teeny tiny little sign for the Arrow video sale. Let's see what they have around the corner. This is a more sign, and that is not Arrow stuff. Okay, here is another Arrow display. This one's always up front, and this is more picked over than usual. So hopefully this is not the only thing they have in stock, because this is like... 10 movies and they're all blu-rays not that any of them are bad or anything they're just nothing i need and comparing that to the criterion collection section it's yeah kind of sad all right i'm trying to find that new blood simple 4k but i'm just not finding that anywhere but we're not here for that today today we are here for the arrow videos and i'm hiding behind the counter because nobody works here apparently but they got some over here. Here's Witness, and of course it's a Blu-ray. I may grab this if my Witness 4K I ordered, which is back-ordered, gets canceled. I may grab this version instead, because I just like having the chonky box sets. Here's a Warriors, once again a Blu-ray. I don't think any of the stores near me have the 4Ks in stock. Tremors 2 on Blu-ray. I just grabbed this 4K in my previous video. If you want to take a closer look at that, watch that video. I unboxed the whole thing. True Romance. Here's the True Romance Steelbook set. I have this one. Very, very cool. I know somewhere... Yeah, Giallo set, Arrow, Return to the Video Store, or Enter the Video Store, I was forget the hell it's called. Um, Standard Edition, <laughs> it's a cool set though. If you can find that limited edition one though, it's worth something. Barbarella, I just grabbed two if you want to see an unboxing. I have an unboxing of this on my channel from a while ago. Here's the Giallo white set. I think I saw the blue set the other day at the other store. I don't have any of these, like I said. I don't want to have to start getting them all. Here's a cool set. I don't think the other store I went to had this one. I know nothing about it, but here's what it looks like. <laughs> they just got some cool stuff. And here's a good Western set. Savage Guns. Western Collection. So yeah, four classic Westerns. Not a huge Western guy, but these are cool sets for sure. Alright, and I, I haven't seen this, so I'm going to look at this 4K Pinocchio from Criterion. This is one I absolutely need to get during the next sale. My son loves Pinocchio, and I like buying Criterion, so everybody wins on this one. Guillermo del Toro is fantastic. Alright. There's, I'm just looking around at random stuff since I'm here. We got Friday the 13th Steelbook for 14 That's not the worst price for that, especially at Barnes & Noble. Uh, here's the Carrie seal book from Scream Factory. This is cheaper at Walmart, though, so I might grab it there still. I keep putting it off. All right, I'm glad I walked over here, because here's their tiny little awkward arrow section that actually has some 4Ks in it. So here's 12 Monkeys on 4K. That is a cool movie. I like that one a lot. American Wolf in London on 4K, one of my all-time favorites. Creepshow 2 is a fun one. I did a Creepshow 2 video like two years ago. Uh, Deadly Games with the slipcover still. You don't see a lot of the uh, standard versions with slipcovers much long after they come out. Here's another Hell High with the slipcover. Oh, there's Frankenstein 4K and Blu-ray. Let's take a look at this one. There's Hell High yeah, with the slip. I don't know much about that one, but from what I've heard, I don't need it. Here is one you absolutely need to go out and buy. Hugo on 4K is the nicest 4K I watched all of last year, at least from memory. Uh, just trying to see what else I got here. 
Nothing that's jumping out at me. Oh, I do like the last house on the left a lot. I love the original one. Saw this in my last video. I might grab this at some point this sale. Is the Ring 4KN Blu-ray separate shock. Yeah, they got a handful of them here. The Vagrant Weird Science Steelbook right here. Yeah, here's like two more randomly <laughs> placed in another part of the store. And, uh, yeah, and on, I was on my way out and I saw this Ninja Turtles steelbook. Isn't this a Best Buy exclusive? $51. You gotta, gotta be kidding me. But, yeah, comment down below. Is this Best Buy or not? I can't remember. So, yeah, let's see what I got. I'm going home, back up the escalator, because no one works in the downstairs, and here we are. And we're back, yes. Much better than yesterday's trip. I am sorry for low-key trolling you fine folks out there but hey i mean i tried to go to barnes and Noble and shop for movies it just didn't work out and at least big lots was there to save the day and i got something pretty cool there as well so if you haven't looked at that video check out what i got but i did grab something this time around at this barnes and noble this is the one nearest to my house so that's why i usually go to this one because they sell movies and it's like three miles away but <laughs> let me show you what i got here i did grab that Last House on the Left, 4K, limited edition. I wish this came out in a big box, though, because I have the original Last House on the Left big box Blu-ray, and it'd be nice to have a matchy-match next to each other. But it's cool that they at least got this one. This is a good remake. I actually really like this remake. I don't like it as much as the original one. I like the dirty, gritty originalness. Uh, but it's solid for a late 2000s movie remake. It's good. It's up there like with the Hills Have Eyes remake, which is pretty solid. So let me pop this open and you can see what's so special about it. Okay, so yeah, these are technically limited edition releases when they have the slip cover and stuff. And as you can see on the back, the limited edition contents are two versions of the film, original theatrical version, and then the unrated cut is on Blu-ray. Not on 4K, which is too bad, but the theatrical cut is on 4k i couldn't tell you which version of it i've seen to be honest and there's that there very cool i like it all right let's see what kind of special features are on here actually there's a new introduction from the director new audio commentaries a river of blood 31 minute interview with sarah paxton notorious krug 27 minute interview with garrett dillahunt i love garrett dillahunt it took my wife like half this movie to realize who he was or actually no it took me half the movie to realize who he was. And then when I told her who it was, he wasn't scary anymore because we love him so much in No Country for Old Men and he's just a big doofus in that movie. <laughs> Another 18-minute long interview with the screenwriter, Reviving the Legend, a 33-minute interview with the producer, Jonathan Craven. I wonder if he's related to anybody. Look Inside featurette from the original release. Yeah, there's a lot of brand new special features on this one. It's pretty solid. Better than I expected, to be honest. So here we go. There's the disc there. And then the other one, I'm guessing, looks exactly the same. It is the 4K disc. I almost pried it off the back. <laughs> and then there's the unrated cut. It says right on the disc. So that is cool. Like I said, the biggest downside is that both versions aren't on 4K. 4K. And then there's a smaller... You know, the, these aren't as impressive as the big box ones, but there's still a cool booklet in there. Nah. Take two. There's still a cool booklet in there. See, there's Garrett Dillahunt and what's-her-name from... Who's it's in the kid uh, from Unbreakable, I think, right? Isn't that that kid from Unbreakable? <laughs> but actually, I like this movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And let's check out the always present reversible cover art. I'm like saying it like it's not there. It's there. I was expecting it to be a lot different because I was thinking of the original movie, which has the best poster artwork. I actually have a Last House on the Left inspired uh, t shirt design on my T Public store. <laughs> <laughs> so take a look at it. It's the first shirt I thought of, and I honestly made my team public store just so I could make that shirt and buy it for myself. I should have worn it. I didn't even think about it. But yeah, there's the original poster there. Nice. But yeah, I like these slipcover limited editions. But the main reason I even bought this, other than like wanting it to match my other one, honestly, match it, is that uh, Barnes Noble does their point system where if you buy stuff, you earn points, and then you get money to spend there, credit or whatever. And I had enough. Uh, from last time that I had some credit to spend, so I got this even more than half off. That's the main reason I grabbed it today. And then, the moment the sale started, I did a uh, order online through Barnes & Noble because I want to get the Witness 4K, which hopefully ordering it at like 6 a.m. in the morning 
Should have been soon enough to get it, but it's still back ordered, and I'm really scared I'm just going to not get it and it's going to get canceled. If that happens, I'll probably go run out and grab the limited edition Blu-ray, because I'd rather have the cool big box Blu-ray with the 4K transfer than just the standard 4K with nothing cool with it. I'm mean, just weird. I like the collectability of it more so than the 4K disc. Like, I can live with a gorgeous 4K transfer on a Blu-ray with all the cool bells and whistles. But the first thing I ordered, I ordered it whatever day the sale started. Two days later, this showed up in my house, and I figured I'd open it today to show you on here. Because that way, either way, if I didn't buy something, I'd have something to show. This was the only other thing I really wanted that wasn't available in store alongside Witness. And I still haven't seen this in store yet out of the three. Yes, I'm including the one that hasn't had movies. Barnes & Noble's I want to, so let's make sure it's the correct one. The 4K of the Warriors. I've heard this is an amazing release. I haven't actually seen this movie. It's a cult movie that I should have seen by now, but I for some reason haven't. It's not one I grew up with. But this one has 4K limited edition contents, theatrical cut on 4K and Blu-ray. So that is awesome. And a 2005 alternate version on 4K and Blu-ray as well. So I'll pop this sucker open. Okay, so that is off of there. I just realized that there's this is a slip. There's no, like, usually it's open on the side, and you can see the booklet and stuff. This is not like that. See? This has a slip cover. Which, since there's a slip cover over this, they should have made this a window. That would have been cooler, I think. Just me talking, though. Um, so, yeah, here's that. With the various gangs. And then you flip it over, and it's got the other gang. So that's cool. Something different. I don't see the point. Other, I guess other than to show you the contents, which could have just been on a J-card, they threw it on a slipcover instead, which is nicer. I mean, I would prefer that. And by what, I mean, I do. And uh, the number one reason these big box sets are better than the smaller limited editions, although, even though they're cheaper, is these ones smell a lot better. <sighs> you can't do that with the last house on the left. All right, so there is the Warriors. Awesome artwork, too, and everything has different artwork. So I'm blind. I have to, like, look up here. So this one has new audio commentary from film critic Walter Chaw, author of the Walter Hill film. War stories, new interviews with writer-director Walter Hill. Whole lot of magic, new roundtable discussion with filmmakers. Battling boundaries, new interview with editor Billy Weber. Gang style, new interviews with costume designers. New exclusive look at the costume designs. Sound of the streets. A new appreciation of composer Barry DeVorzone. And more and more and more in really small font that I can't read because I'm blind. Okay, so that's a sweet disc art. I like that. And disc two is the same, but it's the alternate version. Also on 4K, though. I like that they're both 4K. You got little gang stickers. That's cool. The Furies, the Boppers, and the... What are they? Turnbull ACs. I like that they had, I was going to say it has this instead of like postcards, but there's actually a couple of postcards in here too. Warriors. The Moon Runners. All right, so there's the Warriors one. They all have the same artwork on the back. Yes. Come out to play A or so, I've been told. Yeah. So it doesn't have a poster, it has the stickers and such in lieu of the poster. Which is a fair trade, I would say. Hey, remember when I said there wasn't a poster? It's right here. I'm an idiot. I was like, that's weird. There's no poster, but whatever. So there is the artwork that's on the front of the case yet again. And then the classic original poster, which I love. And I can't wait to flip over the artwork to see this on the case itself. Because I love classic posters like that. Back when posters were actually artwork, you know. Not just Photoshop. This is a cool booklet. New York Subway Guide, Aero Video Transit Authority. <laughs> the Warriors, 1979. So yeah, this is a big book too. Got all your usual behind the scenes stuff. They always have, how many pages is this thing? It's a thick boy. Bigger than the average size booklet. That is for true. And before I forget, let me flip over the artwork here, huh? What's the other one? These are the armies of the night. The Warriors. Rated R for violence, I assume. But yeah, now it's got the new white artwork on there. But yeah, Warriors come out to play a 
Very cool. I like the slip cover instead of the J card idea. I kind of wish they did that on all of them. Not a bad day. Got this one online because I wasn't available in store. Maybe still get it on Amazon. You should check their matching prices. And this one isn't hard to find, but I only grabbed it today because I had a coupon, so I got extra money off. So it was even more than half off. And now I just got to hope my witness shows up. And I will at least go out one more time towards the end of the month to try to get that Conan set. And uh, hopefully they have it in a store because it's just more fun that way. Otherwise, I'll probably just end up ordering it through them or on Amazon because, like I said, they are price matching that half price sale. I have one more video coming up that I want to do about Aero video prices, but not from Barnes & Noble. Somewhere that sells them even better than half off that I would like to share to you and I'll show you what I mean in that video and describe to you how much cheaper they can be if you just know the right places to look. So once again, thank you for watching my first Aero video, video, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's one of the best performing videos on my channel. So thank you to all of you who watched that. Check out my award season stuff if you're into award season stuff. Once again, my name is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Shop, pop, movies.